The E Vidyalaya project under ICT at school scheme is a window of opportunity to the students and teachers in the government and government aided high schools in the state of Odisha to enhance computer aided teaching and learning. The scheme is a comprehensive and well thought out initiative to maintain uniformity in delivering quality education in all the government aided high schools spread across the state of Odisha irrespective of their location be it Malkangiri, Fulbani or Bhubaneswar. The ICT at school scheme was launched by Ministry of HRD in 2004. The scheme basically includes installing 10 or more computers and other accessories in the school using computer as a tool for learning. The entire e Vidyalaya project is in a boot model where the bidder invests on its own and gets back the amount in 5 years. The e Vidyalaya project in Odisha is unique. Although Odisha is the last state in the country to implement the project, it has come up as one of the best implemented ICT projects in the country. The entire project is firmly founded on four pillars. The first pillar is implementing or grounding of the project. The ICT project for 4,000 government schools in Odisha was implemented in a very transparent manner with guidance and involvement of officials from RMSA as well as School and Mass Education Department, Government of Odisha. The configuration of hardware to be installed in the labs was decided by a committee involving members like SPD RMSA, FAS and MED, Director Secondary Education, President BSc, Director SCERT, Deputy Director NIC, Representatives from STPI, IIIT, OCAC and XIMB. The technical specifications were decided considering the specifications for ICT scheme implemented earlier and running successfully in other states as per MHRD guidelines. For complete transparency, a national level e-tender was floated and inquiries across India were received as wide publicity was given through the media. Three investors, namely IL and FS Education and Technology Services Limited, Telecommunication Consultants India Limited, a central government organization, and Wipro submitted their bid. A detailed technical demonstration was given by the bidders to the technical committee and two bidders were selected. IL and FS Education and Technology Services Limited for five zones totaling 3,409 schools and Telecommunication Consultants India Limited for one zone totaling 591 schools. Generally, the acceptance test is based on random sampling or partially selected schools. However, in e Vidyalaya project for Odisha, it was based on 100% schools which meant physically visiting and checking all the equipment in all 4,000 schools. This was a unique feature of the project. Thereafter, supply of the hardware and other infrastructure was monitored in three steps. 608-94-204 First, it was ascertained whether all the hardware and assets were delivered in the schools. The bidders were asked to submit installation and commissioning reports which was cross-examined and authenticated by the school headmasters. OKCL representatives visited each of the 4,000 schools and prepared a checklist as well as equipment-wise report of the installation. Certified electrical contractors verified the earthing and functioning of the electrical equipment. The reports authenticated by the headmasters are made available on the public portal to maintain complete transparency. Any citizen can check the hardware available in the schools by visiting the portal 
www.evidyalaya.org which also carries the model and serial numbers of all the equipment available in all 4000 schools. Secondly, the IT and other infrastructure delivered in the schools were verified to ensure they were of the same configuration. This verification was carried out with the help of web-based asset monitoring system. An asset monitoring software was designed to capture all the detailed configurations such as CPU clock speed, details of RAM, hard disk and more. All the details were uploaded from ground level and compared with the required configuration for the approval. The uploaded reports, reports submitted by the vendors as well as reports submitted by OKCL representatives were compared for each and every school and discrepancies were resolved immediately. The third and final important criteria of implementation phase was to ensure the IT and other infrastructure delivered in the schools were working. To ensure this, the vendors were asked to upload the hardware configuration data through Worm, the asset monitoring software of OKCL server on a monthly basis. It served both the purpose as it checked the configurations and also ensured the functionality of the lab. The vendors demonstrated the use of all the equipment installed in the lab to the teachers and submitted a report to OKCL, ultimately ensuring the functionality of the infrastructure to all the teachers. The reports are available in the public portal of eVidyalaya. Another unique feature of the project is the effective use of technology with human touch to check the detailed configurations of the infrastructure installed in all the labs. Few of the schools need various modes of transportation to visit. OKCL officials even used multiple modes of transportation to visit a single school. The second pillar is ensuring functionality of the infrastructure for entire duration of the project, which is five years. To monitor the entire eVidyalaya project in the state, six zonal officers are deputed at OKCL head office. For all the 30 districts, 30 district lead centers have been appointed. Under them, 66 surveyors having technical expertise and equipped with high-end GPS-enabled tablets have also been appointed. These surveyors visit each of the 4,000 schools allotted to them once in a month. Ultimately, all the schools get personal visit every month. They carry the GPS-enabled tablets to collect photographs, electric meter reading, generator meter reading to ensure lab functioning. The surveyors also carry a complaint receipt register where a copy of the receipt is provided to the headmaster and school coordinator for reference. The data from the tablets gets uploaded to OKCL server which is then processed and made available in the logins provided to authorities. For effective maintenance of the ICT labs, the implementing partner as per ICT guideline deployed contractual employees called school coordinators in all 4000 schools. The hardware installed in the ICT lab was demonstrated to all the teachers by these school coordinators. Another unique feature of the project is the eVidyalaya attendance system developed to track the attendance of the school coordinators. It works in both online and offline mode. The school coordinator needs to sign in, synchronize and log in to the eVidyalaya attendance system software. 
After logging in, if internet connectivity is available in the system, the school coordinator needs to go for yes option to report his or her attendance. In case of non-availability of internet connectivity, the school coordinator needs to send an SMS of the code received from his or her registered mobile number. The attendance report of the school coordinator is sent as an SMS to the concerned headmaster of the school, to the district education officer of the particular district and the state authorities. More than 2.5 lakh messages get fired every month to ensure proper functioning of the project. To assist all the stakeholders of the project, fully equipped 12 seated high tech Odia call center with call center software and ISDN line has been set up in OKCL office. The call center provides the back-end technical support for the schools where the web-based support system exists for call logging and support. The contact details of all these officials are available on the public portal www.evidyalaya.org. More than 5,000 calls are made by the call center every month. For effective tracking of issues, OKCL has devised issue tracking system which works both online as well as offline. The issues related to ICT labs at schools may be raised in different ways, sending an SMS, giving missed call and writing in the complaint register. When a missed call is given to a particular number, or an SMS is received by the call center executives, the issue is registered by calling and the issue ID status is obtained. The issue is then assigned to respective implementing agency. The issue is to be resolved within three working days, failing which penalty may be calculated and imposed on the vendor. The third way is to register the issue in the complaint register provided at the school, where the school coordinator is informed to solve the issue within three days. Two posters are displayed at the schools. One comprises list of all the equipment and services and the other comprises on how to raise the issues. In addition to this, the vendor also is asked to submit lab functionality report after every six months which are then authenticated by the respective headmasters of the schools. The signed reports are again made available in the public portal for complete transparency. The third unique feature of the project is portal and message-based MIS which gets updated on a daily basis. The third pillar is capacity building of the teachers and effective utilization of the labs by the students. The capacity building of school teachers is carried out in four layers of teachers training program. In the first layer, the teachers of the school are demonstrated about the usage of the ICT equipment installed at the school by the original equipment manufacturer. 
A demonstration report signed by the teachers attended is available on the public portal. In the second layer, computer fundamental learning was imparted by the master trainers deployed by OKCL in the field. This was face-to-face -face training in each school involving 90 plus master trainers and 23,000 plus teachers. This data is also available on the public portal. In the third layer, OKCL in consultation with experts from OMSM as well as EDUSAT developed 130 episodes for IT training of the teachers. It was a story-based training involving characters from the school environment. This was based on the real-life situations faced by our teachers in their day-to-day -day life and guiding them about effective use of IT in those situations. In order to spread the training use of IT in teaching to teachers beyond the 4,000 schools, all the episodes were telecast in Doodarshan as part of the program Amoschool.com. This story-based e-content can be downloaded for free and is made available in all the schools as well. The fourth layer includes the learning of office tools through e-content developed considering teachers' pedagogy. It is an interactive mode comprising 132 hours of extensive evidence-based multimedia content available in Odia and English. The e-content is available in all the 4,000 schools where the teachers can learn the IT tools at their own pace. The training is evidence-based, keeping a log of all learning of each and every enrolled teacher. The framework ensures that the teachers go through the sequential lessons and does the practicals for getting the desired minimum marks for certification. In addition, the teachers are provided with study material in Odia and English. The fourth unique feature of the project is the pedagogy adopted for teachers' training. The teachers need not go to other places to get trained. Rather, they can learn in their schools itself at their own pace, at leisure, learning from story-based lessons and also simultaneously creating all the evidences of learning. At present, more than 28,700 teachers have been enrolled for the fourth phase of teachers' training through continuous comprehensive evaluation system with evidence-based learning framework. For utilization of labs for students, inform type multimedia content of 40 hours each has been developed for 9th and 10th standard students for subjects like science, mathematics and social studies. The perform type content are also being made for these subjects as well as some languages. These contents are developed by subject experts as recommended by RMSA involving experts from Board of Secondary Education Odisha, Rashtriya Madhyamik Siksha Abhiyan and senior educationists of Odisha. The inform type content comprises animation and videos in interactive mode. These are designed to make the understanding of complex subjects easy. It makes the learning more practical oriented and makes the student to feel the content. There are many concepts in the subject such as science where teaching through animation and videos bring conceptual clarity. The subjects such as communicative English as well as Sanskrit are also included. The perform type content is based on continuous comprehensive assessment where each subject contains 100 objective multiple choice questions per chapter like fill in the blanks and match the pairs with reasoning. Taken together, it has a database of more than 20,000 questions. The scarcity of computers, that is, only 10 computers for a batch of 40 students has been converted into an opportunity. Individual logins are provided for all the students. The students are distributed into groups of four per computer. Each student gets one question and the answer gets confirmation from the other three. The answer is shown with feedback at the end of submission of answer by the last student. 
The next question is asked to the second student and the answer provided gets confirmed by the other three and so on. As the same question is asked to four students, there is impetus for group activity as well as involving all the students in the group. The students need to appear three tests per chapter comprising 100 questions per chapter in group learning environment. Till date, more than 5.7 lakh students of Standard 9th and 10th are enrolled to experience the learning. The objective is to optimize the use of computers, group involvement, learning through discussion and raising the confidence level of the students, thereby bridging the gap between them. The fifth unique feature of the project is a pedagogy adopted for students' learning. As per our knowledge, it is the first ICT project in the country having peer assessment methodology with evidence-based continuous comprehensive evaluation. The fourth pillar is the support and the guidance from the department as well as RMSA. The project is blessed with the guidance and continual support from the Honorable Chief Minister, Honorable Minister, the Commissioner, School and Mass Education Department, State Project Director, RMSA and other officials from the department as well as RMSA. The ownership towards the project shown by the headmasters and the teachers of all the 4000 schools has taken the project to new heights.